Hey guys, it's Mochibi Maxon again and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to locally install WordPress on your Windows computer. If you're on Mac, I already made a video tutorial showing you how to locally install WordPress on your Mac OS. The link is down in the description if you're on Mac. And we're only going to need three tools for this video tutorial. You're going to need the WordPress files, the WAMP server software and the Visual C++ redistributable. 2008 and 2012 make sure you have both of these installed the link of this for this package zip file is in the description below before you install this software you have to make sure that you have 2008 and 2012 C++ installed so first let's first install the WAMP server software click next just click next this click next install I'm just gonna pause this video and wait until it's about the end then resume cause it takes quite a little bit of time and when it's almost done guys it's gonna bring this pop-up telling you that Firefox has been detected if you have Firefox installed if you don't it's going to ask you to choose for a browser choose for the browser you want to use but since I have Firefox installed I'm just gonna click yes but I highly recommend using Firefox because it's very compatible with WAMP server. So I'm just going to click next, finish the installation and launch WAMP server. Finish. Yes. Now it's, since it has launched, I'm gonna, just going to just come and click on this icon here. And just click put it online so that it can start the server. And wait for it to get green. Now it's online just come and click on localhost it should load this WAMP server homepage this is the default homepage the default website that's included so now come to your C drive and just open WAMP the WAMP folder just come to the WW and delete this and just drag them to the recycle bin now if you reload this going to be empty because there is no website there just double click to open your WordPress files copy them to the WW folder your C, your C drive then WAMP server then WW after that just simply come here and reload your website reload the local host it should load this and show you this here now before you we do anything else we have to first create a database our WordPress so first come here and just click here and come to PHP my admin after opening it just click new to create a new database I'm just gonna name it WordPress then I'm just gonna press create then we don't need this tab anymore then click let's go here you just put in the name you gave to your WordPress to your database. You can name it anything you want. Since I named it WordPress, I'm just gonna put WordPress here. The username by default is root. The password is empty by default. Then the database host is our local host, our local computer. Then just click submit. Then it should tell you all rights. Back in which which is show you that the installation was successful. Just click run the install. It should bring up the name of the website. I'm just gonna name the website tutorial. The username, just gonna name it. The password, I'm just gonna put one single letter A. Email. After that's done you can click allow search engine to index this site or not just click install WordPress and just wait for it it's configuring your account once it's done to show you success just click login remember me click login And 
once it's all loaded up you'll get these errors but this should not freak you out to solve these errors all you need to do is just simply connect to the internet and reload this page only once that will be enough and you can even disconnect the internet these errors will not show up anymore but you have to first connect to the internet at least once after the install after the installation so if you had any difficulties installing this you can leave a comment down below if you if you haven't sub subscribed yet you can click the subscribe button below like the video share it so thanks you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video